So when I first started to read Waverly, I thought that it was kind of boring. But the more I read it and the more I talked about it with my friends, the more I grew to love it. And what better way to show that you love something than to write a 10-page paper about it? <laughs> so without further ado, Waverly is a novel by Sir Walter Scott about the Jacobite Rebellion and an English soldier who gets caught up with the Jacobites. The Jacobites were a group of men and Scottish primarily, men and women, who wanted to dethrone the current Hanoverian king, put the Stuarts back on the throne, starting with James, the son of King James II. And two of these Jacobites are the two main heroines of the novel, Rose Radwardy and Flora MacIver. And these two personify reality and romance, respectively, through their lives and figurative deaths. Neither character actually dies. They do this many ways through their lives, through things such as their names, Rose and Flora, their appearance, blonde and brunette, and the locations associated with them, Lowland Familial Home and Highland Glen, complete with a waterfall. And, but I'm going to really focus on their deaths. Rose's death is much more so the death of her way of life. The English come in, they rip apart her home, they throw her beloved books on the ground. The servants even think that she is dead at one point. She has had what we would today call a major reality check. Whereas Flora, after her cause has been lost, would love nothing more than to go out in a blaze of glory, yelling, All hail King James! But this isn't open to her. Instead, she has to settle for joining a nunnery far away in France, where she will probably never see her blood in Scotland again, a way for her to die without actually dying. And when we next see Rose, we see that she has matured and that she has learned from this experience. She, is a, she has grown from a girl into a woman, whereas with Flora, she will probably remain rather static, and the only change that she's going to be making is changing into a nun. And it is through these two characters we, that we see that living wholly in romance, like Flora does, leads to a bright, passionate, but short life that ends at the end of your cause, whereas living in reality, like Rose, with only the occasional forays into romance, like Rose does with her literature, allows us to learn and to grow and to face life's challenges head on, just like Rose. Thank you.